With 3D foundation, highlight and contour are your foundation. You just need one layer of product and you get a beautiful three-dimensional look. So the first thing I do is take my shape brush. This is my brush that I prefer for my everyday makeup. It gives me a nice light coverage. And I just apply my contour foundation to the side of my face. I like it underneath my cheekbone and kind of on the side of my face a bit. I have a fuller face, so I feel like adding that little bit of contour really gives me some dimension and some slimming. And then I'm gonna do it on this side as well. Keep in mind that this is contour foundation. So it's not just a powder contour or you know a contour that isn't giving you coverage. This is giving you coverage at the same time. And then I go back with my fish face because it's so cute and add a little bit more where I'd like to apply a little bit more and get some more dimension in there. And it just gives a really beautiful look to the face. The great thing about these products is that you get to add them where you want them and where you need them. That's the beauty of 3D foundation. Now I'm flipping the brush over and I'm tapping into my color correction shade because my, my chin is really pink. So I just apply a little bit of mango is my color correction and see how it just kind of cuts the color and it just kind of takes away that brightness. Now I am taking my brightening highlight foundation Mine is sunlit, and I am going on the inner corner and down the nose, the side of the nose, just a little bit to create some brightening. This is where I like to apply my brightener. As a maturing woman, I don't wanna to apply too much brightener under my eyes. Now I've tapped into my all over shade, which is my bridge shade. This is another foundation shade, and I'm gonna just tap this barely under my eyes, on my eyelids, and then I will apply it, just to kind of fill in the gaps where I need it. Keep in mind, you don't need makeup all over your face. I don't put any, um, you can. You probably saw, like I didn't put any under my contour, like along the jaw area. I didn't really put any on my forehead, in the center of my forehead, I don't really need it. You don't need makeup everywhere. I just put makeup where I feel like I want some coverage, I want some highlighting, I want some dimension. And that's the beauty of these products. You might think that seems like a lot of products and a lot of steps, but it actually is simplifying it, giving your makeup and your skin a beautiful, actually skin-like look that's gonna last you all day. Then I just went in and did a little bit of blending. Now I am finishing up the look with a little bit of Lip and Cheek, my favorite. This is Madrid. I love Madrid and I just like to apply a little bit right to just kind of like right on top of the contour. And then this is Boardwalk. I take my setting spray and spray just a little bit onto my pe Perfector sponge and I squeeze the Perfector because I don't want it to be sopping with product. And then I take that Perfector with that little dab of setting spray and I tap it all over my skin. Getting in the inner corners, my forehead, around my nose, around my mouth, because this is gonna remove excess product that would want to settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. It's such a crucial step and it makes such a difference for especially maturing skin. Always keep in mind that these are not traditional products. So if you need any assistance whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out.